Charles Darwin was born on February 12, 1809, in a small town called Shrewsbury in England. Even as a boy, he was fascinated by nature. He loved collecting insects and stones and watching birds and animals. Even though his parents hoped he would become a doctor like his father, Darwin was more interested in learning about animals, rocks, and plants. When Darwin was a teenager, he attended the University of Edinburgh and then Cambridge University. Even though he studied medicine for a short time, he didn't enjoy it. What Darwin did enjoy was going on long walks and learning about the natural world. One of his favorite things to do was search for beetles with friends. In 1831, when Darwin was 22 years old, he was offered a chance to sail around the world on a ship called the HMS Beagle. It was a five-year trip to survey and map different coastlines across the globe. Darwin was invited to come along as the ship's naturalist, which meant his job was to observe, collect, and describe all kinds of plants, animals, rocks, and fossils along the way. The trip changed Darwin's life forever. Throughout the journey, he was amazed at how diverse and beautiful nature could be. Darwin carefully noted his observations in journals. He filled notebooks with drawings of animals, birds, and seashells, and collected specimens to take back home. Wherever he went, whether it was tropical islands, dry deserts, or lush rainforests, he paid close attention to how living things survived in their environment. One of the most important stops was the Galapagos Islands. These volcanic islands off the coast of Ecuador are home to animals found nowhere else on Earth. On the islands, Darwin noticed that each had its own kinds of giant tortoises and small birds called finches. Even though these birds look similar, they had different shapes and sizes of beaks, and each kind of beak was well suited to a particular kind of food. One island had finches with long, slender beaks for catching insects, and another had finches with thick, strong beaks for cracking seeds. That observation made Darwin wonder, could it be that animals had changed over time to fit the environment they lived in? Were these birds all related somehow, and had they adapted to different surroundings? Darwin began to form an idea that would eventually become the theory of evolution by natural selection. Evolution means that all living things come from common ancestors and change slowly over many generations. Natural selection is the process that causes these changes. Here's a simple way to think about it. Animals and plants produce more offspring than can survive, and those with helpful traits, like a better shaped beak or faster legs, will survive longer and have more babies. Over time, those traits become more common in the species, it's as if nature selects the animals best adapted to live in their environment. When Darwin returned to England in 1836 after his long trip, he spent years examining the specimens he brought back and talking to other scientists. The more evidence he gathered, the more his theory of natural selection began to make sense. But Darwin didn't rush to publish his ideas. He knew that what he was thinking was very different from what most people at the time believed. Back then, many people thought every species had been created just as it was, and none of them changed. Darwin wanted to make sure he had as much evidence as possible before sharing his theory with the world. In 1859, after more than 20 years of careful research, Darwin finally published his most famous book, On the Origin of Species by Means of Natural Selection. The book explained his ideas clearly and carefully, with examples from all over the world. It was a big success, selling out quickly. Darwin's work had a huge impact. Scientists, explorers, and naturalists began looking at the world in new ways, inspired by his ideas. Even today, when biologists look at how animals behave or how they look, they often use Darwin's ideas about adaptation and natural selection to understand what they see. Darwin kept working on his research until his death in 1882. Even as an older man, he was curious about everything around him and never stopped wondering why the natural world was the way it was. Today, Charles Darwin is remembered as one of the most important scientists who ever lived. His observations on the HMS Beagle, 
his careful research, and his bold ideas about evolution change the way we look at all life on Earth. His story reminds us to keep wondering, to explore, and to always look closely at the world around us, just like Darwin did.